share a little bit about what it was you were assigned to do here with the missile program? It was the renovation of the Minuteman missiles, taking out Minuteman 2 missiles, putting in Minuteman 3 missiles. That included a complete renovation and remodeling and reconstruction in some places of the facilities, the avionics, the computers, everything associated with that missile system. There were 150 Minuteman missiles, and they were taking them down and reconfiguring them, making them new. It was a three-year program, and it wasn't going to be three years in one day. It was a stupendous project. How did it feel to arrive and be told, in three years, you're going to have retrofitted this weapons platform that's never been done before? A bunch of smart people have come up with the logistics and a plan. A bunch of companies are making all that stuff. It's all going to come out to the middle of South Dakota, and you're going to be responsible for making sure all the electrics, the concrete, the holes, and everything is ready for all the new generation of stuff. How did that feel? Well, in the first place, we were military officers. And we had that as the job to do. And we weren't making it up as we went along. There were the extensive plans. And we just followed those. And whether we approved of the Minuteman missile or not, it didn't matter. Our job was to get this work done. The first time I looked down into a silo, at a Minuteman missile, looking up at me with that one eye. I said, that's the most evil thing I have ever seen in my whole life. But, you know, I couldn't worry about that. That wasn't my job. My job was to get my part of this project done. Mm -hmm. And we did. While you were working, looking down into these silos and facilitating the National War Plan 800 yards away, I was over at the Bloom Ranch, Roping chickens. Roping chickens, Learning yeah. how to be a cowboy and thinking that I had landed in heaven. I know. You were yeah. a happy camper. Uh, yeah. It must have been in late summer, early fall. And my buddy, Jeff Bloom, Jeff and I saddled up and we rode through the dark quietly. And the sun came up and there was a herd of several hundred buffalo an open range buffalo drive. And we joined the drive. And they crossed what was then Badlands National Monument. But that was my first serious interaction with buffalo on an open range, which then set the stage for my entire career as a senior bison ecologist for the federal government. So dad, here we are we came out here 45 years ago. That's right. You fell in love with this place. You bought land. You built a house. You and mom lived here until she passed away. And here we are, and it's a new site in the national park system. Could you have ever envisioned that? And how do you feel about that now? I think it's great that there is a place where somebody can go, if they want to, to research this, to find out how that works.